is an exciting time. God is bringing Christians and Jews together in a powerful way. Around the world, we see Christians taking a stand against anti-Semitism and praying for the people of Israel. Personally, I take a great deal of pride in being a small part of the change. But while God is changing the hearts of many Christians regarding Israel, I see many Christians unintentionally falling into pitfalls when speaking to the Jews around them. Let's look at the cross for example. For Christians, this historic symbol brings to mind Christ's love, his, his gift of salvation, and our Christian community. For most Christians, the event of Christ's death and resurrection is the singular moment that unites us. For Jews, however, this historic symbol brings to mind the charges of deicide, the unbiblical doctrine that all Jews share the blame for killing Christ. Rather than a moment of love, this symbol can cause a Jew to recall centuries of charges of blood libel, the idea that Jews will murder Gentile children and make matzah out of them. Also, it will remind them of the pogroms which destroyed their communities and the horror of the Holocaust. So many of our ideas and symbols have left a very unpleasant taste in the mouths of our Jewish brothers. How often do we use the term crusade without realizing the tens of thousands of Jews who died during them? While we watched Mel Gibson's The Passion, were we really aware of the film's problematic subtext? When we are speaking to Jews as Christians, we need to be aware of the experience Jews have had historically with the church and speak with sensitivity and kindness as God works to bring us divinely together for his purpose.